ओके वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिमुलेशन ऑफ अ ब्लेडलेस टर्वाइन एंड विल ऑल्सो डू द स्ट्रक्चरल सिमुलेशन ऑफ इट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द जोमेट्री सो आई एम ओपनिंग द डिज़ाइन मॉडुलर ओके सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड द geometry of the plate so let me import it and generate it okay so instead of frozen add material and generate so now we have to create the fluid domain so to create fluid domain let me start with the sketch in this panel so okay so let me draw a rectangle uh, we give it to the uh, okay and let's define it so when we are going to dimension something uh, about the axis we have to select the node with the axis we cannot select, uh, select the edge so let's uh, define the numbers of dimensions like the i want to have the length of 8 meter and then uh the behind length i want to have 5.5 so it's a bit larger so let's make it 4.5 yes and it is good now uh, okay so 3 is enough for it and 1.5 so it is enough to analyze the behavior of flow around the blade let me use the extrude com command in the ansys fluent so i want to add it as frozen okay so apply direction and then it is normal to that okay it's fine so let me give a value of 3.5 meter uh, i think 3 is fine yeah so we have enough space to see the flow over the blade surface i i mean the top surface of the, sorry i mean the top surface of the blade so it's fine so let's generate it uh, okay so there are two solids let me create a boolean so basically the uh, boolean operation uh, exclude the flow from the sorry fluid from the solid so like if you uh, we see uh, it now the both the fluid and the solid is emerging uh, with themselves so which is not a f uh, physically possible so let we create uh, sorry let we create a boolean so subtract tool target body is its fluid and our tool body is the solid uh, as we have to do the structure and analysis so i want to preserve the solid body uh, solid body also so let's generate so we have two components one and two okay so okay now we have created the boolean so it's all now let's jump into the meshing section so okay here we have to uh, define the values for the meshing like name select uh, we can provide the boundary creation by selecting the faces like this one uh, also one more thing before going to the simulation uh, preparation so i want to suppress uh, suppress this body 
so i do not want to consider in the fluid simulation so now let me create the name selection of inlet uh, and then outlet okay so uh, best to select the blade uh, faces of the blade hide the other can also do it by pressing f8 so if i now see okay so this is the last face so if oh i cannot see uh, anything there so let's Uh, let me choose it like this okay uh, let's choose the unnecessary so now it's fine now it's only selecting the interfaces so i have inlet outlet and blade so these are three the boundary conditions i have applied okay now select the meshing size of 100 and generate okay one we done the meshing now let's check the element quality so the minimum quality is 0.24 which is good and there is only a few number of cells having the quality below than the 0.6 so it's fine so let's update the meshing and then we go to the Fluent section. So uh, we are selecting double precision for better results, and I am selecting the solver processor. It depends upon the machine, like how many processor the machine have. My machine has twelve processor, so I am selecting ten for this current scenario. The more number of processor means the more uh, it will take lesser time to complete the simulation. So it's depend upon the machine uh, processor capabilities. Okay, so let's uh, start the simulation. We first of all we have to enable the gravity. If you want, there is uh, there is a lot of uh, sorry, there is not a lot of effect of. Uh, velocity on uh, sorry gravity on the air so you can also ignore that while doing the simulation so now let's come to the turbulence model so i am going to select the k epsilon releasable and enhanced valve treatment and click on ok so also let's change the density of the fluid to 1.2 okay so it's done now let's to come to the method and change to the second order upwind for fast results so after that let's come to the residuals and change it to 1 8 minus 6 all of these two okay so now i want to have some of the report plots to see the values first of all i want to 
have integral on the blade surface and this total pressure ok click on ok I also want to see the drag force on the plate which is occurring in the x direction in the minus x direction uh, sorry in the x direction right so ok also I want to see the lift coefficient which is not necessary in this case but you can see it if you want to ok so these are three reports and ok iterations and y label ok it's all fine so we have defined the method uh, residuals report plots uh, yeah one thing more is to define the inlet velocity so for the current case I am using 10 meter per second in the x direction so which is uh, obviously it can be seen that it is uh, <sighs> perpendicular to my plane uh, boundary condition of it inlet you can say so if I want to make it at some angle I can choose it by components so I can provide the velocity in x y z so for now I am only having the velocity in the x direction so it's ok so apply so let's come to the initialization uh, let's turn the hybrid in initialization ok the convergence tolerance is saying that 1 over 0.6 is not reached because our mesh is uh, not that smooth so we can done this by adding more refinement to the mesh it's just for elaboration so I am not uh, doing a lot of work on meshing ok so once it's done let's uh, calculate it for 200 iterations ok so we have done the analysis but the results are not good so let me see some graphical representation so let me create a in x y plane and five now one point five okay so create the surface let's come to the graphical representation first of all I want to see the I can see the results are not good on the plate also moreover uh, if I go to the plane 4 you see the pressure so it's also too good for itself yes so we have to uh, we do not get the best wall treatment so for to do that uh, let me run uh, another simulation uh, with some we have do i have created an other solid body there which can find the turbine area so what I will go first I apply a sizing a body sizing basically over this domain so 
so instead of element size we will use body of influence so what it will do it will change the meshing in the cylindrical area so if i apply the meshing size of 20 mm there and uh, 80 80 mm here so it's fine so then uh, i will also apply some sizing over there so to do that let's let me hide some faces first okay so they are already being hide so first of all i want to provide the edge sizing in this cylindrical area instead of element size i want to go with the number of divisions of 20 uh, and here i want the similar manner i want to apply the edge sizing over here the number of division of 20 so 1 mm so in the similar way i want to apply the sizing over there and the number of divisions of the stand of number of divisions let's uh, take a size of 1 mm and also apply another sizing over there of 1 mm so what you want to do more i uh, i am going to apply an inflation layer so instead of geometry selection let's go with the name selection and select the plate uh, no no for the scoping sorry i do a mistake uh, we have to choose the body okay so now here we will go with the name selection so let's select the blade and okay so five number of layers of inflation basically which account for the boundary layer effect let the meshing will be completed and i will see you guys again so now you can see that the meshing in this cylindrical area is smaller than the other area also the blade has a very very fine meshing over the edges which account the effects so let's update it uh, let me see the aspect ratio it is within the feasible range but it is a little bit higher but it's uh, uh, come when we apply the inflation layer so here you can see the inflation layer effect basically these are the five boundary layers which account for the better wall treatment so it's all so let's go uh, okay after updating the mesh i come to again the fluent solver all of the settings is similar so just check in house wall treatment so it's fine let's turn it to hybrid initialization and run the initialization setting again okay let's run the simulation again so i will see you when the simulation will be done